It's beautiful here. It's spring. The wildflowers are growing. But we're here for a reason. The reason is we're here to see Peter. He's, uh, he's a character of the cemetery. He's been coming here for ages and everyone knows him. So um, let's go check him out. Uh, Hi Peter, how you going? Hi Fritz. It's How's nice to see you, it's been a while. It has been. What, no. one week? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, we're pretty regular. But, um, no, it's good to see you. Um, you're part of the cemetery, you're, uh, you're part of the makeup of the cemetery. You've been coming here for years, ever since I've been coming here. Yeah, it's like my home pretty well. It is my main home really, although I have a place to park up for the night, but this is like my home, you know. I feel good when I come here. To me, it's like an oasis in the suburban desert. So you're making a cup of coffee there? I've just had one off it, yeah. It, um, but you've got a really interesting setup over here. Yeah, just using mirrors to concentrate the heat. And um, oh, this time of year, it gets it nearly boiling. So Peter, explain to me, how does this work? Well, basically, with the mirrors and the direct sun, it's, it's like having uh, four suns. Well, it's a the mirror's a bit tarnished, so let's, if we, if we say three suns, the heat of three suns beaming into the, into this little pot here, and the glass over the top, it keeps the, the heat can go in, but it doesn't come out, so it's a bit like a greenhouse, and so it heats up pretty well. You're a school teacher and a science teacher at Onihonga High. Maths and science, yeah, Onihonga, that was my first teaching job, actually, yeah. I never knew what I wanted to do, of course, I did had a crack at various things and um, I thought, oh, why not try teaching, you know? Because <laughs> I'd had a, I scraped through a, a BSc degree, you know, so I needed one year at the secondary teacher's college, so yeah. How long were you in teaching for? Well, over a period, uh, two years at Onihanga, and then actually I went, um, I went to Chile for a, the, 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 most of this yeah. year and uh, taught, well, because I was a native speaker of English, I got a job teaching English in, um, at the Grange School in Santiago. And interestingly, the headmaster was a well-known New Zealander, good friend of Sir Edmund, George Lowe. And um, yeah, he was the headmaster. They'd gone there to climb for the mountains, you know, to, to climb there. And I went back again, came home and went back again the following year and did a big trip right down over land from Mexico to Chile over, about over three and a half months. And so that was a kind of highlight of the, had a further five months in Chile, I was there during the military coup, and uh, came back. And um, yes, and I, I, I sort of got married quite soon, briefly, you know, without really knowing, we didn't really know each other, but. You know, it didn't really work out. We lasted three years, and uh, so after that, I thought, "Oh, I don't need teaching; too much stress." <laughs> and I took up cab driving. I was driving a cab for about oh, 13 years on and off around Auckland, and then um, my mother died suddenly, and I inherited some money, and. Uh, which was just as well, really, because the cab work was grinding to a halt. Peter, you're good behind the camera, but your father was a famous actor. He was well known, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it must be in me, some of it, yeah. I mean, I remember him from Doctor Who. Yeah, that's He's right. He's got that um, distinguished looking face I'll never forget, watching it as a kid. <laughs> yes, yeah. So what, um, he's been in a few movies as well, a lot of movies? Uh, Small parts in various ones. His, I think the, his, big, his main biggest part, I think, was in a film called Yangtze Incident. Yeah. <coughs> but he had small parts. He was one of Robin Hood's Merry Men in the original Robin Hood, and um, and what else? He was actually he actually played Jack the Ripper. In oh, really? The, although you never saw him that much, only in the background. And what else was? He, he was in Dam Busters. The Dam Busters, a small part, and he had a. A part in the film, film, the Sundowners, yeah. and that's where I got to meet up with him over in Aussie. Um, yeah, he had his part in that film there. 
and a, and a TV series. I agree. Yeah, that was the one that uh, that cop show. They got him really well known. Yeah. And then there was a second one, Revenue Men, that uh, he was in too. But he was never a lead actor. He's always uh, he played a really good supporting actor. Wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, he did. He he came right in the end, although. He couldn't, when we went over there to live, my mother and brother and me, he couldn't really support us. It was too dodgy, too in and out, mm. in work and out of work. So my mother, she went out and qualified as a dress designer and, and was able to earn some extra money. And, re and then we came back from England, more or less, for good really, in the year of the coronation at the end of 1953, when Ed, Sir Ed climbed Hillary and all oh. that. All the other things, Tango I disaster, all happened that later that year. And, uh, so we came back more or less for good. And, and I didn't go over again until um, early manhood, really, uh, when I was 20. I think I would have been 23. I went over to meet up with him again, up in Scotland. <laughs> well, Peter, that was an awesome discussion. Until we meet next time. Thank you, Fritz. Uh, pleasure. Thank you.